Yeah, guys, our experts said don't think of this as a replacement for the vaccine. That's the wrong way to see it. It's just another tool needed to take the, the coronavirus from a pandemic to a routine infection. So let's verify how. To get your fast facts on Pfizer's antiviral drug, we went to Pfizer's phase two and three trial results and public health expert Dr. Amish Adalja. First, what is it? Pfizer's antiviral pill is what's called a protease inhibitor. It interferes with the ability of the virus to complete its life cycle by interfering with the way proteins are processed. Dr. Adalja says it basically disables the virus. Drugs like this have been used successfully in treating HIV and hepatitis C. So what did the study results show? Remember, their trial was in non-vaccinated individuals. According to the study and Dr. Adalja's analysis, the two pills for five days regimen decreased an infected patient's chances of being hospitalized or dying by 90%. This would be game changing uh, when it's available, and I think all of us are anxious to see it, especially in light of uh, fears over Omicron. So, if it's a potential game changer, will it replace vaccines? Dr. Adalja says no. Vaccines are still the, the best tool that we have to control COVID 19. He went on to explain the role of the Pfizer pill will be to keep people who are infected and unvaccinated or high risk breakthrough infections out of the hospital or worse, keep them from dying. And I think it's it's a, another hallmark of a transition to uh, for COVID becoming a much more manageable infection. Now we've talked a lot about antiviral pills in the last week. Remember Merck's pill was only 30% effective when you compare that to Pfizer's 90% rate. Now you might ask yourself, why is Pfizer so much more effective? And I'm going to oversimplify it here, but Dr. Adalja told me Pfizer's pill affects a different step in the virus's progression. 